So now let's talk about the third type of effect I'd like you to add to your animation, which is going to be through the layer styles. I'm going to add a layer style to my sky. So I'm on the layer that has my sky, which is layer four, and I'm going to go down to that little button FX, which is add a layer style, and I'm going to add color overlay. And I will just choose the red. Maybe I'll decrease that um, opacity a little bit, but you could choose a different color. You can choose any kind of effect that you want just simply by clicking on that, and now you could choose a different color. Um, so fine, so now I've added that overlay. And what I'm going to do, making sure that I'm still active on the, the layer that I've just added the layer style to, I'm going to go over to my timeline, make sure that that's the layer that's active. It is layer four. That's the one that has my sky. And I'm going to click on that sideways arrow to get to see what are the different options here. What can I animate? And the one that's on the bottom is style. So I'm going to scroll all the way to the beginning and I'm going to click on that stopwatch. And that puts a T frame, uh, sorry, a keyframe in. And I'm going to go over to my color overlay and open that up. And I will put that down to 0%. This is just like the opacity. And now I'm going to move along in my timeline. And I could just simply do one that's um, all the way down at the end, at eight seconds. It's not completely the end, but. I, don't, I want the effect to be there for two seconds before the whole animation is done. And so I have another keyframe there. And now I'm going to go back over to my overlay and I'll put that opacity back up to where I wanted it, which was about 50%. And click OK. So it's now animated over a period of time, that um, bit of color overlay. So now I'm going to just scroll through so you can see. So my sky and my um, castle are both coming in at the same time. So I may not want that. I may want that to be a little bit more in a sequence. So if I ever needed to delete one of these keyframes, I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to choose delete. So I'm going to actually add another keyframe a couple of seconds in. Let's scroll through and see where does that castle. The castle is here at about five seconds and that's where I'm going to add another keyframe. And I'm not going to make an adjustment. So this keyframe is keeping that opacity at 0%. But now when I scroll down to the end, I'm going to add another keyframe. This is the point when I'm going to increase that opacity. So go back over to my effects, double click on the color overlay. Oh, sorry, I think I was in the wrong spot. And increase that opacity. So I have the second keyframe here just to simply keep this area at 0%. And so it's from this keyframe of 0% to this one that's at 50% when the transition starts to happen. If this one isn't here, then it's going to be from my first keyframe to the last keyframe that been, that entire time is going to be transitioning and adding color. So let's just scroll through and look at that effect. And what we're looking for is I want the sky to start turning red after the castle has already started to appear. So the castle should be coming in slowly, slowly. The castle comes in over three seconds, and now the sky starts to slowly turn red. So there are three different effects that are happening here, and they're all happening at different times. So I want you to use these three effects um, over five different layers. So you can use um, a couple of them a couple of times, or however, whichever one you want, um, you get to repeat them. You don't need to do five different effects. It's just going to be three effects, but repeat some, so it's going to be on five different layers.